In today's video we're going to talk about a new silicon power SSD that comes with speeds from Gen 4 x 4 Of course it's a Gen 4 x 4 SSD and in that terms we're going to talk about silicon power X Power XS70 with 1 terabyte of storage. Now this one comes with a passive heatsink which is already pre-attached to your M.2 SSD and that's quite alright in terms if you're not keen of using the passive heatsink from your motherboard. If you are then you're in a bit of a predicament because you can't remove the passive heatsink or you'll void the warranty. So yeah, that's it. But nevertheless, we have an outstanding speeds, uh, outstanding competitor to other M.2 SSDs which are Gen 4 x 4 speeds and we're going to get to that part. Now let's check out the SSD. Uh, of course, since it's one terabyte of storage, it's single-sided and the passive heatsink is made out of aluminium alloy and it cools down the SSD by 40%, which is quite outstanding, I would say. Now, the passive heatsink really does look nice and you have an X-Power logo on the left side. On the right side, you have, of course, the full name with M.2 PCI Express Gen 4x4 SSD. At the back, you have the model name, serial number, and some other information. Now, when we're talking about some technical specification, it's M.2 2280 form factor. We have PCI Gen 4x4 NVMe 1.4. The controller is Fison PS5018 E18 with DDR4 DRAM. NV memory is Micron 176 LTLC and the speeds are just insane because it goes with sequential read up to 7300 megabytes and sequential write up to 60 100 megabytes per second. When we're talking about endurance, it goes up to 700 TBW. Now also there are some other things to mention. It comes in uh, three storage capacities. Uh, we have right here one terabyte. You can also acquire two or four terabytes as well. The operating temperature is from zero to 70 degrees Celsius and mean time before failure is 1.6 million hours. Shock resistance, what they tested is 1500 Gs and you have five limited warranty. Now, to get the optimum performance, you do need some uh, multiple technologies to acquire everything, and uh, they place the run cache buffer, ride engine, and LDPC, everything packed in this uh, small piece of uh, storage. Now, there's also one more thing to mention, the prices of one and two terabytes, since we're talking about E18 SSD, which has uh, B47R flash memory, it goes with the same price as we see on uh, IG5236 SSDs with B47R flash. So basically you're getting an outstanding price comparing to the others which are definitely in a higher price range and they are usually on sale to achieve this kind of prices with this ones. Now since we're talking about some numbers, let's talk about the speeds. In Autodesk Benchmark, it goes quite nice and quite close to Sabrent and Asgard with uh, read speeds going up to 6.58 gigabytes per second. In write speed in Autodesk Benchmark, it actually destroys Asgard and Sabrent with 5.47 gigabytes per second. And then we're having Crystal Disk Mark. Now, read speeds are 7,000 megabytes per second, which is just behind Sabrent and Asgard, but with write speed in Crystal Disk Benchmark, it goes up to 5865 megabytes per second, which is much faster than the Asgard and Sabrent. Now in read speeds, when we're talking about IOPS, random 4K is 870K, while the write uh, is 1 million 70 K IOPS, which is quite outstanding. And to sum it all up, concerning durability and quality, there's actually nothing to complain about Silicon Power products. First of all, as I already mentioned in other videos, I'm quite satisfied with their products and it, they always do perform quite nicely. Now, when we're talking about the speeds, they stated that it goes up to 7300 megabytes per second. And that is true. Since I tested it on 12600K, it went up to 7000 megabytes per second. But if you go with 12900K, it goes slightly above 7300 megabytes per second, which is outstanding. In PS5, what I read and what I saw, uh, since I don't have a PS5, I had to get uh, some information elsewhere. Uh, the speeds go up to 6500 megabytes per second. So that's outstanding and you get a nice, let's say, uh, budget-oriented M.2 SSD Gen 4x4 
with speeds that can range really really high and that's outstanding so guys uh, if you wish to go and check out this i'll place uh, all three capacities uh, in the description below so one two and four terabytes so you can choose the capacity to your needs and if you're new to the channel i would suggest if you still haven't that you subscribe to the channel click the like button and hit the notification bell because it does help the channel grow so thanks for that and thanks for the support uh, hopefully i will see you in another one and until then bye bye <music>